Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's final wave being wave 6 of the Booster Pass DLC is now live. And of course, like always, we are going through and checking every single shortcut and showing them off to you today from wave 6. So thank you guys so much for tuning in throughout this entire time, going through all the different waves and showing the shortcuts and showing the tracks off. It's been a lot of fun, but of course, all good things must eventually come to an end. After 10 years of Mario Kart 8, it, it's about time. Yeah, once again, just big thanks to everybody for watching these videos. Videos, and we're still going to talk about Wave 6 a lot more, and there's a lot of special videos coming, including a ranking of every single track in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yes, we're talking all 96 tracks ranked. It's already been started. Get ready. The video will be coming shortly. But thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see that video and more like this, and let's dive into the shortcuts of Wave 6. So for Rome Avanti, right after you come off of the first big ramp out of the Coliseum, you'll see this little passageway underneath a bridge through the grass and the rocks that you can go straight through. You will need a mushroom to get through this area and if you really want to save time you can make an immediate quick left around the roundabout and take the left inside path instead of wrapping all the way around the right side. And before you finish the first lap you'll see some blue cones which you can use a mushroom to dash through the gravel area. And as soon as you enter the third lap there's another area with blue cones that you can do it right beside an umbrella and a table outside. As you're getting ready for the final stretch after the chain chomp part this last one is kind of hard to pull off. You can actually use a mushroom to go through the grass in the park area and squeeze between a couple of rocks, depending on how tight you want to make that cut. It is definitely possible in different ways. We finally get the return of DK Mountain back, and there's a couple of really fun shortcuts. So the first ones, you can actually go through each side of mud on the left or the right with the barrels. It really doesn't matter. Next, as you're going down the mountain, you'll see three DK barrels, which you can actually use a mushroom to get through. And the grass area here will actually keep your cart on the ground, so you won't fling off in the background or fall off the track. You'll actually stay stuck to the ground on this part. And last but not least, of course, the classic jump over the canyon is here again, and it's probably easier than it's ever been. I mean, you don't need a mushroom, and you don't even need to hop. You just need to take an extremely tight cut, and you'll fling yourself over to the last portion of the track, which you're just going to have to watch out for other players as they're coming by is going to be the really only hard thing about this jump. And I guess you can also go through the barrels on the left or right sides again before entering the bridge area. Now, Daisy Circuit only really has one shortcut, and it's very obvious, but you can make this a lot more advanced advanced if you will. So you can actually use three mushrooms in a row to go through this sidewalk section twice and then straight into the shortcut off the ramp, which is a very fast long drift section. You're really just going to do a really early drift and continue to drift and dash your way through the sidewalk portions until you reach this wooden piranha plant board and dash through that one as well. And the last track for the acorn cup is piranha plant cove. You can actually use a mushroom right after jumping into the water for the second time where you can dash through the sand area before coming back out of the water to the boardwalk. Upon diving back into the water, you can use another mushroom to go through this rock sand area. This trick you can actually do for the first lap as well, but it works better for the second lap as you actually have to turn left at the end of this hallway area, but you can actually off the ramp of stairs, get onto the rock pillar area where you can actually ride the top and then just jump straight off and hit a quick left, which is going to save you some time. Once again, diving back into the water before you hit a right at the thwomps, you can go straight through the dirt grass area with a mushroom, and you can even do tricks off the side of these little staircases case monuments on the left and right sides. You'll also see tons of sand areas to the left and right sides of the road and really just use a mushroom in any of these sections. I'm not going to talk about every single one because there's just so many that you can use them. So whenever you have a mushroom in your inventory, just look for some sand slash grass areas that you can cut some corners with and you're going to be good to go. And the last shortcut is a very obvious one towards the end here with the eel and the pirate ship. All you have to do is go through the sand area where you see the giant ramp and if you have a mushroom, I mean, you can't miss it. There's another dirt slash grass grass path before you dive deeper underground that you can hit with a mushroom. And right before finishing the final lap, you will see a grass dirt path that you can hit at the very end as well. And now our final cup. The spiny cup, we start off with Madrid Drive. The first one is not really a huge shortcut, but you can take the inner path with the wiggler in order to save you a couple seconds. Once you enter the mall room, you can actually hit a tight cut through the tree median. If you just have a mushroom, you'll go straight through the grass. The second shortcut is right after the glider section. You will see a park area that's 
roped off by a fence, and as soon as you pass that fence, you can actually jump over that curb and dash through the grass with the mushroom. And the final shortcut can actually be hit in a grass section on the side of the road by the light poles, just use a mushroom, and drift your way along the road. Perhaps the strangest addition that kind of caught a lot of us off guard, Rosalina's Ice World, the very first shortcut is right away towards the right, you can use a mushroom through the snow area. Now ideally, you want to always stay on top of the ice unless you fall in. The top of the ice is a lot quicker if you don't hit a penguin like I did, but the top is genuinely quicker and we'll come back to discuss this a little bit more in just a hot second. Continuing through the cave, you'll see a small section off to the right that you can actually cut through. Now it's not really sure if this is a shortcut or just an alternate path. It's probably slightly faster, but yeah, it's not one that's really hiding anywhere. And then you have a ramp at the end that you can just jump off on with a mushroom. For laps two and three, you'll notice that the iceberg section, the ice is pushed further away, so you'll need a mushroom off the ramp in order to reach it if you want the fastest path on top. Bowser's Castle 3 was one of my surprise favorites and actually full of really cool technical things that you can do. So straight off the gate, there are lots of mud areas that you can dash through, just like in the beginning with the mushroom. The fastest path here is also going to be on the far left side where you can hit a quick drift to quickly get to that left portion. On the sharp right, you can actually dash through this long strip of mud on the inner side, the middle, or the outside. It's really up to you, but to me, I feel like dashing straight through to the inside is going to be a lot faster. Now, probably one of the coolest parts is if you hit this drift right, you can get onto these side walls where there's more speed panels, and it might even be slightly faster than the other options, but you might want to hit the brake a couple times to make sure you can get up there. And then at the very end, there is a patch of mud that you can dash through right beside the bone piranha plant. And last but not least, we made it to the final track, We Rainbow Road. Of course, finishing this off with a banger. So there's not a lot here. And it comes down to things that we probably definitely were going to remember from Mario Kart Wii. First off, the two giant holes in the middle of the track, you can actually dash over them with a mushroom. Both of them, in fact. And yep, the road skip right afterwards still works. It's easier to do with a mushroom as you can easily control it and dash over that gap, but you can also do it without a mushroom. You just have to cut it a lot closer. And you just need a nice drift and a boost off of the side, do a little hop, and you should be able to make yourself to the other side, especially since you're in zero gravity form you can hold up on the control stick in order to make sure that you can reach the other side. Because if not, you're going to turn into flames and fall down to earth just like you would in Mario Kart Wii, which is a really cool addition as well. Once again, I want to give a huge thanks to everybody that tuned into the end of this video. It's because of you that this series has went on and that we've had the last two years of fun talks with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And it's kind of sad that it's gone. It's a bittersweet feeling. I'm, I'm sad that we're not going to be able to do this anymore and look forward to more tracks, but I'm also so freaking happy because after 10 years of playing this game and owning it on the Wii U in 2014, I mean, goodness gracious, I was a sophomore in high school. Now I'm 26 and married. So it's absolutely insane that this game has lasted this long, but it's definitely time for it to die peacefully. But with that said, let me know your favorite track from this entire DLC booster pass. And if you're really excited to see me rank all 96 tracks in this game, stop what you're doing real quick, leave a like and subscribe. Let's see how many people we can get to subscribe from this one video. But thank you so much for tuning in today. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.